hello my people yeah uh gman 101 right here hanging out with you on uh, a very rainy Monday here in New England and that's gonna leave me my next point I need to hurry this video up because I need to go to the backyard and round up all the animals we're getting on Noah's Ark and getting the heck out of here because the whole town is just going underwater really quick and I need to get on a boat and get away uh, but anyways uh, yeah I hope you're enjoying or not enjoying or enjoying making fun of the fact that I enjoy soccer because I know some people uh, make uh, or enjoy making fun of that uh, but go check my Red Bull video if you are an MLS fan and there will be more of that that's not what this video is about um, as you know I made a video uh, a few weeks a month and a half ago two months ago um, in an announcement to the TTC and YouTube faithful that I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed and update I'm not no I'm just kidding I am um, but um, <laughs> Leave me there for a second, didn't you? That would have been great. But, um, no, I, I'm i still getting my wisdom teeth out. Yes, you counted it correctly. All four. Boom, 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 and finally boom. But, um, uh, consultation. This is, this is an update on the dates, because I want you guys to be involved with this as much as possible. I'm going to plan, whether you care about it or not, a video diary which is going to go start maybe a week beforehand thinking my preparation into this and before you make a comment or say to yourself yes I'm making this into way too big of a deal that's what I do if you don't like it get over it um, I will make a video diary leader video blog whatever the hell you want to call it leading up to the wisdom teeth extraction date the consultation will be April 23rd that's when I go and they try to creep me out and make me pass out right there in the office telling me what's going to happen, that they're going to stick knives in my mouth, whatever they use. Uh, yeah, and then a week later, and I, I just want to point out, I love how my mom set this one up, Wisdom Teeth Extraction on April 30th, which happens to be what day of the week, folks? You guessed it right, a Friday. Because you know what? That That's perfect because it ruins my weekend and the days where I don't have to go to school or work I'm in a living hell, and then I'm good just in time to go back to school. Notice how that works out perfectly? Right. Um, but yeah, the extraction date has been set up. April 30th. That is about a month and two days from now, a month and a day from now, they will go into my mouth and take out the wisdom teeth. And I will bring every moment of it to you when I am drugged and the pain that I suffer following. So, um, yeah. Just want to give you an update on that. Uh, follow me on Twitter. There's a lot of interesting things. I'm pretty sure my last tweet was how much I love Rice Krispie Treat cereal. Yeah, uh, any other things that I need to touch on? Um, yeah, the new soccer rule, uh, overtime. I'm really indifferent about it. I don't think it's great, but I don't think it's terrible either. And the fact that it's just in the playoffs is going to screw me up. I'm going to get really confused. And um, I don't know. It, it seems like... It's a little confusing. I think NFL, and I think this is basically what they're going for, uh, should go, uh, like, completely go with the college route of overtime, so each team gets a chance. It's basically the first team to not score loses the game. But I think they should start it from, like, the 20-yard line, their own 20-yard line. I don't think they should do what college does and start the ball at the 30. I personally think that's too easy and you're going to find games whether the teams are very talented or whether the teams absolutely suck where you're just going to be watching and a 1 o'clock game is going to be ending at 6 o'clock because of overtimes and the NFL does not need that because they want those 1 o'clock games to be over like that so they can get to the 4.15. Uh, 4.15 shouldn't have much of a problem because there's a little bit of a wait until that 8.30, uh, 9 o'clock game comes on. Um, but I could just see a lot of one o'clock games that are disastrous matchups that no one gives a hoot about um, going into these overtimes. And this is—I know it's not the overtime rule is not set in the regular season. This is what I'm saying. I'd like to see in the future. I'd like to see because there's another vote to my knowledge that's going to uh, make the overtime rule exist in the regular season games as well. Um, but what I want to see is football teams start it in their own territory maybe the 20 or the 30 yard line not like the 30 and basically copy exactly what college football is doing today with their overtimes 
except um, starting way further back in their own territory, not five feet away from the end zone, so teams can just score repeatedly and we're there for three more hours than we want to be. Um, not that football isn't a fantastic sport to watch. But uh, that's my opinion on that. Um, yeah. So I'll be back uh, throughout the week. You guys have a good one. Um, applications can be found on uh, Noah's Ark website to get on the Ark and get the heck out of here before we all go underwater. Just Gmail 101 right here hanging out with you. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.